Hey guys, I'm Rose of Vane, and welcome back to another episode of Yuppie Cycle. Where we last left off was we basically spent a lot of time in Corval's uh, ID room of the Sintra computer thing. Um, we basically figured out the code, entered through it, found a secret floor, uh, entered his office, his miniature half room office, got his golden key to finally get to the cemetery. Like, we'll be going to the cemetery in this episode with that key. Uh, and we just got a bunch of other things that we basically got through this particular, uh, or in the particular episode of the last one. Um, but otherwise, let's get to the cemetery for once. Yeah, because we didn't have access to the cemetery, uh, and I was kind of stuck-ish, but at least we got through it. And we can now progress a little bit further into some of this game stuff, I guess. I mean, I am a little surprised that it took this long to get to this point, but... Oh, I didn't get to read that. Damn it. I think I know what I'm going to do, I think he's probably said. Use the key to the cemetery. Oh, there's an owl with a red eye. I've seen that owl before. Have I? I don't remember. This tomb must belong to the Sintra family, although I don't recognize the name. What's the name? Okay, so that's the same line. Nothing. Okay, I'm just gonna use the glow in the dark for once. Yeah, because I, I need the glow stick because I want to save my batteries. I'm losing a lot more batteries than I normally would, so... You know what? No. I'm gonna still use it, but it just sucks because there's not a lot of batteries I got left. Because this is a lot brighter, but it also uses less uh, less batteries. I see a box behind here. Oh, another VHS tape. It's a VHS tape titled Video Club Mysterio Appearance. You got a VHS tape. Okay, so. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, I remember the owl. Come here, owl. You ain't running from me. This owl reminds me of that time when we were fighting against the spider monster in like the an earlier episode, I think. Uh, nope. Hmm. I think that owl. I think I saw the owl drink from this water. Do I need to do something with the water, maybe? Oh. Maybe if I dilute some of these. Some of these insomnia pills. Wow, that is so messed up, making an owl go to sleep because of it. <laughs> Hans Frey, Count of Lucanor. Is that a reference to something? Or is that actually something I need to know? I feel like it's a reference to something, I feel like, but I might be wrong. Is there anything here? No, nothing here. Alright, so basically I need to just keep chasing after him until he goes and drink the water so he can fall asleep. Come here, buddy. There we go. And so he should go to the water now. Okay, cool. Now the drowsy... the drowsiness has kicked in. Alright, let's pick this guy up. Hmm. He's sleeping like a log. Now that I see it up close, one of its eyes... One of its eyes looks like glass. Shall I take it out? Oh my god, am I supposed to take the owl's eye? <sighs> you know what? I'll do it. It's gonna suck. You got a glass eye. I'm sorry, Mr. Owl. Maybe it's best not to bother him. Okay, well, I guess I did what I did. Kinda sucks, but... I'm assuming the glass eye was on purpose to be like a thing to help us unlock something, maybe? The door's locked, but there's something under here. Oh, that's why. Uh, we need that one thing. Here. Okay, well, I guess that's what that is. Why is everything so slanted? I'm just realizing just now. I was like, everything's so slanted. The heck? Oh wow, there's the family, the family itself. 
to the love of our life, Rei Sintra, 1961 to 1972. Oh, she died when she was young. Well, don't they... There don't seem to be any leads around here. Alright then. Although... I could try to move the tomb lid. Oh my goodness, what am I thinking? Desecrating graves on my first day at work? D d d d do I open the tomb? I don't think I want to move the tomb just yet. Let me check the other tombs first. Xu Ying. Xu Ying. Uh, 1924 to 1982. So, wait. Did the daughter die earlier, I guess? Let me check the father. Oh, can't, I, can't pronounce, I can't pronounce the A that well. I, I'm not a... I'm not a uh, speaker from like Spanish or anything like that. Like it's similar to that, so <laughs> I might butcher the the wording, the reading of that. So let me try to attempt to say his first name, Joe, or is it Ho Hoao or Joao? Joel, Joel, Joe Sintra, Joe Sintra, nineteen eighteen, nineteen eighteen, nineteen seventy two. Okay, so I don't know. Oh, young Sintra. I don't know what that is on the side there, but okay. I guess we... Yes, I guess. I'll look. I'll open it just a little bit so I can have a look around and then close it. Oh, no body. Eh. No body? Something's shining down here. You got some bells. It might have been her hair tie, isn't it? The bells. Would they belong to the child? I think I should go back to my office as soon as possible and tell Sintra what's going on. Okay, I guess. Wait. Okay, there's nothing there. Okay. Uh, let me double check the photo, maybe. Yeah. So one of that's one of the hair ties of the of Sintra, as she was a kid, I guess. Okay, the owl's still sleeping. Okay, good enough. Good enough for me. I don't really care about anything else as long as I don't get attacked in the random blue. Out of the random blue. I think there's a lot of work that took to get to this point where we finally get something going. But I'm just like, I just, I'm just glad I made it. Oh, jeez, then again. Pasternak, what a coincidence. I was just going to, to the canteen. We need to lend, we need to lend a hand with the birthday preparations. What birthday? Hugo's birthday. Oh, I'm sorry, but I, but I can't. I have to get to my office. But everyone's in the canteen! Aren't you going to help? I I can't. I, I, I have to get back to the office as soon as possible. What's your hurry? Even that cute new girl from the hive is there. Kate? I don't know her name, honey, but she's been asking about you. But if you're so busy... Uh, well, okay, I'll be right over, but just for a little while... So we're just forced to go to this birthday party <laughs> of Hugo's. I don't think Hugo deserves a birthday party, considering how rude he's been to everybody, I feel like. Look, I bought, I brought to help uh, the parsnip himself. Uh... Okay, I guess. Let's see. What? Wow, she's treating this guy like a dog almost. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be helping? Hmm. Okay. Are you ready to go? Huh? You're about to taste me. Uh, see you later. You're about to taste me. Are... Maybe it's because she probably baked the cake, the birthday cake, and she probably placed something inside the cake that belongs a little bit from her body, maybe? Uh, ill? Nasty? There's Kate. How about you? Why are you even here? <laughs> why are you even here? <laughs> Chapman, why are you even here? You're not invited. <laughs> are you invited to the birthday party too? Is this supposed to be a party? But why are people working? Where's the booze and the drugs? The party hasn't started yet. We're preparing it. You know, before you celebrate, you have to get to you have to work to get everything ready. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh I think I devote my efforts to flirting with that sexy redhead. She's been staring at me since I got here. Oh, well, good luck with that. Hmm. Ha! How brazen. Malone, 
I don't know if... You don't know if what? You're absolutely right. Go for it. I don't need your permission, Hick. I don't need your permission, Hick. Hi, Kate. Are you feeling better now? Ah, yes. I've been... I quite recovered. Thank you. What are you doing here? Did you get tangled up in it, too? I came here to see if we had we were having that coffee I owed you. Uh, and they told me about Hugo's birthday. The coffee, right. I'd forgotten about all that. Well, now that we can have it with a little cake, hehehe. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. I should be in my office. Besides, I don't particularly like Hugo, to be honest. Don't be like that, Brian. Remember that par partnership is very important in a company, especially when it's your, your office mate. Besides, it's always good to work as a team, don't you think? If you say so... I'm washing some glasses. I'll let you know when I'm done with them, with them so you can ha help with setting up the table. Okay. Alright, I guess. I don't... Water bear... No, not... Hey! Don't steal food from the fridge! We're gonna need it later! Okay, I guess. That is really random. I like how she's making how Sosa's working on confetti. Pasternak, have you been kidnapped as well? Yeah, but I can't stay for the birthday. I, I have to go to the office. What? Why? Oh, you got some new information about Exactly. Oh, tell me, tell me. It turns out that the Sintra family had a daughter Yaday Sintra? That name sounds familiar. That girl died, didn't she? That's a good question. I've just been in the family mausoleum, and her grave is empty. I think she's the key to figuring all this out. Desecrating graves during working hours? Brian, you are my hero. You can count on me. How can I help you? I need to get back to the office. Maybe if you could just distract Rostov? Hmm. I'll think of something. Spy stuff. In the meantime, we should pretend like you were still working. Wait, what? It's a weight with a hook on it. Why is there a weight with a hook on it? Oh, maybe because we had to set up the balloons. That's probably what it is. Rostov probably is telling us to hang the balloons or something. Bro, why are you touching the gifts, man? There's a dozen gifts here. Hugo seems to have a lot of friends. I don't think those are friend gifts. I feel like they're just very just... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's not really because they're friends with him, I think. It's an empty bowl. Alright, let's talk to Rostov. What can I do to help? I'm blowing up some balloons. Give me a second and then you can put them up. Uh, now what? Pasternak, I'm done blowing up the balloons. Can you put, put them up? Of course. There we go. There's five balloons. Alright. Place them all on the pink pedestal to see... You see around the canteen. Okay. I kind of knew that was the case. What is this? Keep your hands to yourself, Pastor Neck. We're going to need that bread later. Okay. I don't know. I'll just do what I do. Uh, I need to probably hook him up with the thing here. I wonder why sometimes the items have numbers, but I think the numbers are important for some other stuff, like uh, related to... Related to the high idea that, like that we need to have two or something. Sosa. Ah! Hmm? Oh, oh, oops. Oh no. Are, are you all right, dear? I for I forgot. I, I completely forgot. I, I left the present in my office. But that's, they're all there on the table. Oh, right. Uh, but this is a special gift, which I brought on my own. Then go get it quick. Ah, uh, mm. I need help bringing it down because it weighs 400 pounds. Uh, Mr. Pasternak, perhaps you could help me since you could you have so much muscles. <laughs> yeah, sh sure, no problem. Wait, I go with you. I better go with you. Pasternak's busy with the balloons. Oh no! Now that I remember, that gift doesn't exist. Hmm. Ah. Uh. I guess Sosa's trying to figure out a way to distract, but it's like getting in the way of like 
of how to convince her because it seems like it's not easy to convince her about that. <laughs> I just love how they're just trying to trying their best. I'm done with the glasses. <clears throat> I'm done with the glasses. Can somebody set them up? Set them out? I'm coming. Ten glasses, jeez. Put them on the big table while I'm doing the dishes. Okay, I'm guessing it's all this. But there's more than ten of us here, right? Oh, I have to go the other side as well, I see. I was confused for what that was, the way it did. I'm done with the dishes, Brian. I'm coming. <coughs> Brian, is that your first name, Pastor Nack? Oh no, she shouldn't have said my first name, no. Yes, uh, first names are always used in the suburbs. Mine's Irina. Oh, she actually provided her first name as well. How beautiful. I'm Katherine Hicks, but you can call me Kate. Martha, Martha Sosa. Oh God, is she gonna give it? I'm Jenna, and I'm Sagittarius. Oh God, she is a Sagittarius like me. <laughs> I'm surprised she's like me. Looks like a Sagittarius and stuff. And what's this? Rural life? What's your name? What's your name, Chapman? Anthony, like my father. In the family, they still call me Tony Jr. Well, I'm... Alright. That's enough talk. Hugo's coming and we haven't finished setting up yet. Uh... <laughs> I like how the random employee wanted to speak up for that, but didn't get to say anything. So there's Jenna, Irina, Anthony, for some reason. I mean, Anthony Chapman sounds better than Tony Jr. Like, what the heck is a Tony Jr. has to do with anything? Ten dishes, okay. And then Sosa was something. I can't remember her first name already. Oh, oh, oh! Uh... And, 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 and the sweet food with candles on top. The cake? That's it! <clears throat> Since you know so much about cakes, Pastor Neck, you could go get one, couldn't you? There's no need for that. Everything's under control now. Oh, okay. Wow, Sosa's really trying hard to just help us. And it's funny how much it's failing, but it's like... It's unintentional failing, and it's like really like crazy how she's trying her best. You'll have to make the cheese sandwiches, Pastor Nat. Come over here, and I'll show you. Okay. Psst. Psst. Hmm. I guess we have to talk to Sosa first. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeez. Every time I read these, my throat's gonna die out a little bit after a while because it's like my throat gets like shredded to some voicings I have to do. <laughs> Okay, we got time. I just needed to double check time. Have you thought of anything? I've analyzed this situation, and our greatest enemy here is Rostov. I'm going to use my social skills to distract her so you can escape. That's a good idea. Oh, she actually is going to try and distract her. <laughs> Dear friend and colleague, Rostov. Hmm. I hear you love eating things. Who told you that? Did you call me a gluten? No, 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 no. I mean, at this company, the, your food is famous for being moth, moth waterily delicious. Can, could you could you write the recipe over here for the chicken with fish? Ah, of course. It's because I use traditional recipes. Come over here, and I'll give you some advice. You're clearly not eating right. It's my chance. I bet Hugo's gonna block me. Yeah, Hugo's gonna probably block me as soon as I try to get into the elevator. Oh, this sucks. The elevator goes... <laughs> come on, come on, get down. Get down here, come on. Oh, yep, it's somebody else. Blocking my way. Oh, I'm sorry. Hello, everyone. I am hope... I hope I'm not too late. The cake! You come at the perfect time, Spader. Put it on the table. Pasternak, I'm keeping an eye on you. Uh... Interesting. That's the first time I've actually seen Spader for the first time. Well, what can I do with... 
what can I help you with? We need to have... We have to make cheese sandwiches in the punch. And that's al no, that's almost no time left. There's almost no more time left. Hugo could be here in, in any minute. Then let's get to work. Hey, I also want to help. Oh, is he going to do the punch for once? Nice to meet you, Mr. Spader. My name is Chapman. I'm Tony Chapman's son. I don't know if... Nice to meet you. Well, how about we get organized and get started making the punch and sandwiches? Hey, kiddo. I'm sorry. I don't know where your name. Can you give us a hand? Me? Of course he's talking to you. Move your stinky ass work and a little, you lazy bastard. Chapman, please. There's no need for that language. We're all partners here. You're right. My sincerest apologies, Pastor Mac. <sighs> How about I make the punch and you two take care of the sandwiches? What a great idea. Hey, dear fellow, would you mind telling me how to make sandwiches? You put the ingredients in and hit the button. And where are the ingredients? Uh, give me one second. Alrighty, welcome back. Uh, sorry about that. That cut, <laughs> that cut is a little bit awkward. Hopefully, it wasn't too abrupt. Um, we still got like about ten more ish minutes left to go for this whole episode. So, excuse me when I was disappearing. Uh, for whatever that is. Um, but I'm back try to finish up this video once and for all before I go off on this video anyways the cheese is in the fridge and the bread is on the one on the on the table I'm waiting partner so basically uh, before the cut we were supposed to make a sandwich I think so we're gonna have to go and do that I think the cheese is in the fridge which is weird that I couldn't grab the cheese for a second for the like the longest time but I'm wondering how Chapman's gonna screw this one up though, because I think Chapman will screw up the cheese, the, the grilled cheese stuff. Here are the ingredients. Perfect. Watch a chef at work. He burns them all to a crisp, I feel like. Could be. Ready. Here they are. Don't just, don't they just smell delicious? You got some burned cheese sandwiches. They don't look burned, but yes. Yikes. I can kind of tell he was going to burn them. <laughs> They're all burned. Hmm. It's my personal touch. Uh, put them on the table, quick. Hugo's about to arrive. Okay. Um, I'm guessing it's right here that we need to place them. Uh, kind of sucks, though. We're, we're serving a bunch of burned bread. Also, I don't know why we have 10 plates and stuff when we have a lot more people than <laughs> that 10 here. But I'm assuming it's going to be, like, very small. Like, it's not going to be everybody eating it. Oh, 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 it's almost time. Turn off the lights. Everyone's running. Guys, is this, is anyone here? Happy birthday. What? Thank you, guys. You're the best. Let's get to this party started. Man, she's excited about the cake. The cake is so good. Have you tried it? Hey, Rostov. I, I got to go now. Oh, do whatever you want. I've already helped and I've stayed long enough. I think I can go now. No? You do, ha you do have to explain any... You don't have to explain anything to me, dear. If you want to stand up, your office mate. If you want to stand up, your office mate. Uh... Somebody's arriving? Oh, Doshi. Doshi? Doshi, Doshi, Doshi! Doshi, Doshi, Doshi. Wait, so it seems like everyone appreciates Doshi or like respects him highly, which is weird to me. Turn off the lights and get ready to reach Nirvana. What? Reach Nirvana? Uh, oh, I see. He's just doing like a little like club party situation with the light glow lights and stuff yeah <laughs> that's interestingly weird and dumb but okay okay i guess i guess that's how things are for doshi uh what, do, what does rostov have to say don't you think this punch tastes just too good well now that you mention it i'm sure this that rascal spader was has put some secret ingredient in it uh, I hope I didn't drink it, though. That's my only main concern. I can't talk to this guy. I thought I could. Kate? How are you doing? 
Oh, really good. Your coworkers are very funny. And I think I'm getting all my punch on. It's really good, actually. I've already had two glasses. Hey, Brian, I wanted to apologize again for standing up, sending you up earlier. I know your this work this first work experience may not be as great as we thought it would be, but you're great. You're right. It would you it would be best to quit and go to another company, but I just can't stand the thought of giving up at the first hurdle. It's all right. I understand perfectly. No, Brian, it's not right. Huh? I you've been great to me and you only just met me. That's not the norm in the big city. Nowadays it's just a difficult to find someone who doesn't only think of themselves. You've also helped me. No way! I only brought brought you trouble. I, I, I'm telling you, I'm serious. Without your stealth techniques, I wouldn't have lasted long. And the truth is that whenever I give you a hand, I end up solving problems with my own work. Really? By the way, you really you never told me what your job at the company is. Don't you have anything I can help you with? Well, I don't do much. Typical office work, you know? And I can't help you with anything? Well, there is one thing I have to do. Hmm? Ah, forget it. Uh, it's, it's it's silly. No, tell me, tell me. Remember, remember that madman on the horse? Yeah, sure. He's some kind of motivational consultant, and at the last meeting, he ordered me to make a friend. Oh, that's nice. It is very important in the first days of work to be open to other colleagues. Right. So, what's the problem? Have you found your new friend yet? I, uh, I was wondering if you'd maybe be like to, what's that? To be your friend? Yeah, yeah. Well, don't feel obligated. Oh, don't be silly. Of course, I'll be your friend. That is not a friend. That, <laughs> that is more than a friend. I feel like I'm just kidding. No, it's fine. I, I think kiss on the cheek is probably customary in some other cultures. That is kind of like friends, like kissing the cheek and cheek and stuff like that usually like as a politeness thing the, 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 thank you I, I i'm gonna drink a little more of this punch for, to freshen up <laughs> he's turned red who oh he cooled down <laughs> calm down don't drink it all at once too much too much alcohol can make you sick what do you mean since when does punch have alcohol in it <laughs> Uh, Brian, if you don't mind, I think I'll go some get some fresh air for a bit to clear my head. I'll go with you. I saw a rooftop on the building map. I'm sure there's fresh air there. All right, I'll hear that there's an extraordinary view from there. Hey, Pasternak, I want to talk to you. Uh, wait, Kate, I'll come right. I'll come back right away. Hmm. All right. Oh God, my vision is blurring. Oh, this is bad. I better leave these two alone, though I'd pay a few credits to find out what they're talking about. Aw, oh, shoot. I should have talked to them first, but I screwed myself my chance to talk to them. I need to talk to Sosa before we leave. Isn't Mappy happy? When I went to look for her, she wasn't there. She knows how to get out of this better than anyone. What about that other blonde guy from before, Spader? He's gone now. How did he get out of here? He works on the ninth floor, Pasternak. He can do whatever he wants. I I have to find the perfect time to get out of here. Be careful, but see if you can give me a hand. The presents. When they're looking at those, it might be a good time. Hmm. Okay, so we need to leave when the presents are being opened, maybe? I don't know. I'm leaving. I'm not going to talk to you, Hugo. Pasternak, are you leaving already? I have to get back to the office. I'm sorry. Stay a while longer, Brian. Let's disconnect from work a bit. Um, until the presents are at least... Uh, okay, well, I'm forced to talk to... Oh, God. I clipped through Hugo for a bit. Hey, Hugo. I'm sorry about what I have to... Uh, but, but I have to go. I see. You're liking the punch, Pastor Uh, so... Hey, I wanted to talk to you. I wanted to apologize. I've been a fool. Mm. I mean, the witch. I tried to hide all this stuff from you so you wouldn't get involved on your first day. But I think it was a mistake not to warn you earlier. Uh, not only that, I also wanted to apologize for the way I acted earlier in the office. Wait, what? 
Wait, there's a guy in the mask. What is going on? Who's that guy? What? What? He just he just walked off. Who's that? I know the guy in the mask was a thing in like one of the illusions or the apparitions we saw in the uh, in this the the Corval thing. I was really pissed when I saw we get employee of the month. Something I get over competitive for, but I really do wish you well. Uh, what do you wish me? all the best for of course i do after all we're partners cut the bull crap hugo i know what you've been doing what do you mean croak croak eh. i don't understand you pasternak come on please stop pretending already i've ever since i got here you've been after me trying to kill me in that ridiculous costume which by the way that noise you make with your mouth it's more like a duck than a toad Everybody knows it's you, and not only that, people hate you. Hmm. They're all here because they're afraid of you, nothing more than that. Maybe it would be better if you stopped drinking, don't you think? Don't tell me what to do, you have no idea who I am, do you understand? Hmm. It's time for the presents, let's move the tables.